So I was watching some old school 2012 footage of the Olympics and uh, randomly, and I decided I've got a theory and I want to present it to the YouTube world. So we'll first go for the theory. Theory about this man, Tony Martin, and my theory of why he no longer wins races. Time trial. So my theory is that his position is not aerodynamic enough to win World Tour time trials anymore. This is my view. So, obviously, there could be many other factors, power, everything else. But anyway, we're going to go through his results. So, number one, he's got a lot of pro wins. He's got 66. But you can see most of these at individual time trials. And, you know, he has been in winning time trials for, for days, for ages, and grand tours. Um, obviously, world champs, he was, he was winning many, many times. Um, I think... I don't think he's won the Olympics, however. Um, but obviously, you know, he came third in the Olympics. Qatar, he won. That was the last uh, individual world championships he won in 2016. Obviously, 2015, he had a bit of unfortunate issues um, with his saddle. Uh, and, you know, don't need to go in much more detail because it's pretty grim. Uh, but basically, he had sandpaper on his saddle. And you can probably guess what happened. It wrapped through his skin suit. Um, but anyway, so we're going to go positions. You know, 2012 positions, so 2012 Olympic time trial. My internet's very slow, so I can't do any more searches. But you'll see, obviously, the, the lad himself, Wiggins, 470 watts, apparently. So 6.8 watts per kilo for 50 minutes. So it was, you know, off-the-chart performance. Um, and obviously, this is the podium here, so you can see Tony Martin, Wigger, and Froome. Uh, but, you know, these are the positions we're looking at. Uh, that's like Michael Rogers, I believe. Here's a lot of them training on the course. Um, don't know what this Irish bloke's doing. But, you know, pretty much, more or less, everyone is the same position you know Wiggins is slightly higher heads tucked in a little bit more that's a pretty solid position but you can see you know other the women as well all have this position like there what Wiggins is pretty tucked in but like you know there's Navadowskis there's Taylor Finney everyone has this you know just as low as possible Cancellara as well um yeah like obviously his Olympic time trial he won but in 2016 but you know before that he, he hadn't just done as well in the time trials and again his Another bloke, I don't know who this is, um, but we, you can see the trend. You know, time trial position low, loss of head showing. There's Van Dyke. Um, you know, so anyway, we'll go go to Tony Martin, and we'll so we'll we'll see the evolution. All right, so ignore this photo here. This photo is just ignore that one. Anyway, so you can see basically long and low position changes. Not much. This is obviously very early on. You can see it in an HTC. Um, Position. I don't know why I've got Cancellara here, but anyway. Um, and you can see what position he's got. It's arrow, I think. You know, it's low. Long cranks as well. I'd say he's 175s, maybe pretty long cranks they look. Um, and, you know, he just had a very low position. I uh, enjoyed it. I don't know why we've got this one pro lad. Low position. Classic. So you think in 2012, CDA relative to Wiggins, similar. Probably higher because he's a bit chunkier on his legs and stuff like that. But low, low, low CDA for sure. And I think what you've seen, we've got Primus Roglic here. Positions are getting better. We've got Nibali here. Positions are getting higher. And he hasn't adapted. Um, look at this position. I mean, I don't know why all these are all coming up. Again, this is a low, a lot of head space showing. This is um, Vanette. Um, again, good position. So there's Dowsett as well. Again, good position. And you can see it's all higher. And we can see he went for, he went for this high position. Look here. He went for that high position. He has, you know, the helmet. This is at the uh, 20, 2016 Olympics. And you can see that the, obviously the hand position is high. I mean, in my opinion, he's not. He said he didn't like it. He said, you know, he went one season. I think he went to the winter and they said, look, Tony, this is faster. He said, fair enough. I'll go for it. Apparently he couldn't get the watts out. And I've, well, from my own riding and from what people say, I thought... Generally, you can get more watts out in this position because you're slightly higher up, lungs a bit more open, hip angle often not as extreme, but hip angle you can sort out with short cranks. I don't know why more people don't run short cranks. It's a game changer. But yeah, this is my theory why he doesn't win because if you look at his position, it's just not good enough anymore. Like he, he, when he rides a lot of Yumbo, he, he has this position pretty similar. Um, and, you know, if you compare that to some of the other boys like Dalsip, Proper Arrow, Castro Viejo, off the chart arrow. I mean, you can just look at my top five positions. Casper Askreen there, again, Proper Arrow. Um, 
Tony Martin look is the I don't think that is Tony Martin to be fair. I didn't know he rode for Giant, but maybe maybe he did. Um but yeah, that that's my theory. Uh don't know who this bloke is. Lie Palmer, good bloke. Um again, super out of position. I think that Dennis, obviously, of course. And I think because these people are doing the same watts as him, you know, Dennis, you know, will be doing four fifty to four seventy for sure, maybe more. You know, for a forty minutes to an hour time trial. Um, you know, Martin is you can see here he's that's Van Emden, sorry, but you can see, like, he obviously is error, like, but not enough. And I, obviously, his power might have decreased, but I think that's the big, the big thing for me is that he's still a strong lad. He rides on the front. He can ride that tempo, 350 watts. You can imagine him doing days. I remember hearing one of his power files for the for the Giro, one of the stages, was, like, 380 normalized for six hours. If you know anything about power meter, that's ridiculous. Like, me, 380s, eh, 12 minutes. <laughs> he does it for, like, six hours. It's off the chart. Uh, but yeah, so that's my theory. What do you think? Do you think Tony Martin's lost the numbers? Um, maybe he's good at the tempo stuff, can't go as hard. Or do you think it's his position? Or do you think he's not training for it? He's just doing, you know, just training for tempo rides, not really doing much time trial, not spending much time on the bike. I don't know. I mean, he's still German national champion in 2019. So, you know, he's not he's not bad time trialist. It's just he's not what he was. And if you look at the number of TT wins in 2014, 2015, 2016, and suddenly it's like, nah, nada, nothing. Um, so yeah, anyway, cheers for watching, hope you did enjoy. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of uh, Big T Martin and his time trialing.